Greetings. On Saturday, March the 21st, our beautiful church of St. Mary of the Cross, MacKillop, marks its 21st anniversary. And here we are in the depths of fear. Our parents and grandparents, of course, would have experienced an even greater fear during the Second World War and a few years later, the Korean War. Even a deadly virus is nothing like having bombs raining down from the heavens. Hopefully our current sad state of the pandemic will end soon and bring about in the meantime, heroic acts of kindness between people instead of nasty and selfish ones. As a result of this pandemic affecting 182 countries, Australia is doing all it can to protect its citizens. And our Archdiocese is walking the extra mile to ensure that the maximum possible protections are in place. Little wonder even Richmond followers were denied a seat at the MCG for the first opening game of the season. Not even 500, with plenty of room for social distancing, were allowed in. So why shouldn't our Archbishop, as you may already know, mandate that no public masses are to be celebrated? Fathers Mark and myself will, of course, minister to the very sick we will celebrate funerals and weddings. These, of course, have special conditions and instructions and restrictions. The first rite of penance is also available at 5 p.m. on Saturday. Our church will be opened for private prayer and during daylight hours, there'll be exposition in the main church, but the chapel will be closed as it's very small. Father Mark and I, of course, will celebrate a private Mass for everyone's intentions, including ourselves. Perhaps you could say that our church has had a sort of virus of some sort for the last 21 years, for the number of Mass goers has steadily decreased since our opening day. There will be a Mass to watch on the weekend from the Mary MacKillop website at marymckillop.net. Please use your phone rather than our doorbell as Father Mark and myself are also self-isolating and socially distancing. These are the new in words. May God bless you and keep you. Let's pray for one another.